Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Start to continue. Thanks so much for joining us for this. We're going to move on to something a little bit different. Very within our brand, but uh, we're going to go John Lennon right now. We have a John Lennon scrapbooks called John Lennon Legend and Illustrated Life of John Lennon. James Henke, or Hank. Hank Hanky. I, I don't know. We're going to take a look at this. Before we get going, I just want to take a moment to ask you to hit the subscribe button. I super appreciate it. It helps the channel out extraordinarily. I thank you very much for doing that. And uh, so that's my dog wagging around over there making noise. Apologies for that. Hey, hit the subscribe for the dog content. Why not? Dog's coughing now. All part of the fun of starting a new YouTube channel. So... Hit the subscribe and hit the bell. <laughs> so I don't remember where the heck I got this from. Um, dog, give me a break. Uh, Someone, it was had to have been given to me at some point. I have no memory at all of even going through this. So we're going to discover this together. Me and you, this was apparently not cheap. 40 bucks in the US that probably makes it around 60 in Canada so it's gonna be chock full of good stuff let's go through it and take a look the publisher is Chronicle books so let's go through it we've had fun going through these scrapbooks on this channel so far if you're liking this go back on the channel because we went through two other scrapbooks uh, from Bob Dylan an official Bob Dylan scrapbook and an unofficial one. So that was a lot of fun. Now, let's go through this one. I've got this John Lennon one. I also have a scrapbook on uh, D-Day. They're, they're kind of fun. They got It's fun to go through. This is nice. The Bob Dylan one I did was absolutely missing its CD. So that was a frustrating discovery when we unbox that. And it's still sealed in there well you can get it this way i guess no can you no it's in there you got to pull that out to unseal it so let's just leave that it's a cd we don't need to um, piece of paper there's your first bit of memorabilia this piece of paper john lennon touched that So this came out in 2003. This looks to be like a first edition. And man, this has not been open here, crackling. Okay, here we already have the first bit of memorabilia in these little, you get these pages in these waxy pages right here and then you pull this tab and it says what's in here in my life. Uh, recorded and released on Rubber Soul. So he gets a copy of handwritten, handwritten, handwritten lyrics here. I mean, the photocopy quality is eh. But no one's going to mistake that for the real thing. It's still neat. Good to see. We've all seen that photo. So I don't know if you'll be able to pick up uh, words here. If you want to pause to read it, it's a good uh, good trick. Got some young John going on right there. Classroom picture. Where is he? He's in there somewhere. Third row from the top, four in from the bottom right. There he is. Did you catch that? And then you have some uh, childhood artwork here, which we saw in his, uh, his uh, solo album. And some more memorabilia here. What do we got here? Ooh, is this a 
Is this a report card? That's neat. John Lennon report card. Go ahead and hit the pause so you can read all this good stuff. Geography. Still working hard. French. An intelligent boy. Art. He was, of course, good. Nice work, John. That's a good report card. I'll get you an ice cream for that. This is the Daily Howl. This is from 1950. Wow, imagine having the original copy of this. That'd be worth some bucks. Anyways, this is presented quite nicely in this reproduction. The colors are vibrant and jump off. Looks quite authentic. The pages feel good. But it is a reproduction. Just so you're not confused. You know, when they put out these scrapbooks, they should... Uh, in one copy out of the entire run, they should put an authentic piece of memorabilia in there. Ah, there's the early boys right there. Outside the McCartney home in Liverpool. And we got a couple little, little things here. I like this, getting a piece of memorabilia on each page. The Quarrymen. That's their first band. Again, it's nice. This is uh, on a thicker card stock. Very authentic. And of course, what do we got here? An admission program. Uh, the Quarrymen Skiffle Group. They're going to be on at four. Grand Dance in the Church Hall. Refreshments at moderate prices. But you get the Quarrymen. That's neat. Ooh, here's some... Something from the Cavern membership card. Expiring in 64, non-transferable. What did you get for a membership in the Cavern? Well, you got your uh, coat check. I didn't know that uh, the Cavern was a... Members only club. Show your friends how to get to the cavern. But they must be signed in as a visitor. Well, then look at that. You got your autograph side here. Autograph pages. And the calendar. Forthcoming dates. That's neat. That is really neat. Cavern club. Anything else in there? Nope. If you guys love early Beatles story, I definitely recommend the documentary Lovely Frida. Uh, she was she looked after their fan club for them. Excellent, excellent documentary. Paramount Enterprises. A salary of ten pounds for Jerry and the Pacemakers. And 10 pounds for the Silver Beetles. Little contract right there. That was neat. Yes, Paul, John, George, and Pete. Pete Best.
uh, with Cynthia, with Stuart Sutcliffe, Liverpool. What's this? This is, uh, it's Beatles bubblegum, kind of sealed there. It's got a little, little thing on there. Oh, look at that. Is this what you got? Is this what I was talking about at the fan club? They put a distinct effort into honoring the fans and give them, give them cool stuff. She would even go sneak into their barber shop and grab their locks of hair from the ground and send it to fans. I'm talking about Frida, the lovely Frida documentary. That's cool. Trading cards. Ed Sullivan show ticket. As a member of studio audience, you may have times difficulty seeing the performance. That was a big show, no doubt about that. And again, this is a very good honorable reproduction. Feels good. It's got the right thickness. Man, this thing is packed with stuff. Can't complain about this. We got a poster here. Japanese post poster for a hard day's night. That's a big ticket right there. And this is the American poster for the same movie. Shot to fame. Like a rocket. Look at that old helicopter. No, we got a page that actually doesn't have any memorabilia in it. During the filming of Help. And in this waxy side, we have some more lyrics. Day Tripper. This one is a lot more authentic looking. It's got the it's got the crinkles photoed right in there. A little cut. That's good. That's a good one. The touring, the tours and travail. Here come the Beatles. It's John and that movie he was in. Yeah, I haven't seen that movie. Should really get on that. We got a copy of Rolling Stone. Nineteen sixty seven. Holy, you got a few pages here. Single sided, then they show you the article. John and his movie. neat I like that it's a nice addition oh my god guys I'm sorry if this is taking long I will rush or maybe this will be a two-parter what do you think
Yep. That's how she got him, right there. Sergeant Pepper. Ooh, there's more lyrics here. I mean, where are we at? Okay, we'll get through it. Hey, you want to pause? Go have a coffee. Go ahead. The video will still be here. Lucy in the sky. Lyric sheet. This is with Julian. Trip to India. Yoko. A couple pages without memorabilia. Uh, three labels from air bottles. John and Yoko's first collaborative work from the Half a Wind show. Mm -hmm. So these are stickers. Really, really difficult to reproduce that. Really great stuff there, guys. More Yoko stuff. What do we have here? Opposite enclosure, a packet of four cards from John's You Are Here show. This served as the show's program. You are here. Sometime in 68. By John Lennon. There they are. Two gurus and drag. Write to John Lennon. Send him a note. Tell him you like his scrapbook. The You Are Here show. Let it be the rooftop concert. Letter addressed, Dear World, part of the Lennon's Crusade for Peace. Never until now shared with the world. So this was the first time this was shown only in this book. I find that hard to believe, but... Well, I can't argue with that sentiment. Especially in today's world. The dream of peace never gets old. You got to feel around to see where the enclosure is. Excellent card right there. If you want it. John and Yoko. Postcard. That's a nice touch. That That is cut out at the bottom. Instant Karma. People are talking a lot about Instant Karma this past week. Or this past month. I don't know when this video is coming out. But you know what I'm talking about. Lyric sheet. Fighting with this. We're almost there, guys. Page 45. Lots more cool stuff, though. And I love John's artwork. So we get a couple quick sketches here. John and his muse. Better in a photo.
1969. The complete Yoko Ono word poem game. For Yoko with heads full of problems. Imagine this little lyric sheet there. That one's inside. Can't remove that. Typed out on the other side. Oh, we got some really nice textiles here. We got uh, some more artwork. Declaration of Newtopia and National Flag of Newtopia, the official seal, is displayed on the sleeve. Here we go. Let's find out what Newtopia is. The Newtopian Embassy. Declaration. We announced the birth of the conceptual country, Newtopia. John and Yoko. I would have joined that. Why not? We have the official flag here. And there it is. The official flag. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I get what you're serving. Put that back later. Listen to this interview. Publicity piece from the Walls and Bridges. Listen to this press kit. Rather than including new interview, John simply wrote a responses to interview Ringo had given him in 73 for an article. And then we have some more drawings over here. Some more drawings. Nice little enclosure there. Love the John Lennon whimsy. Watching the Wheels, 1975. Hmm. Who's that, Sean? John put him on a leash? Oh, I would not consider John Lennon to be a, a leash kid kind of parent. A love letter from John and Yoko to the people who ask us what, when, and why. In the New York Times. That appeared in 1979, May 27th, New York Times. Double Fantasy. I think everyone had that album, Double Fantasy. And it's pretty good, except for the Yoko bits, but the rest of it, beautiful boy, and starting over. Really great.
milk and honey. And that's it. There's the acknowledgements. There's the credits. We did it. We got through it. Sorry, guys, if it took a little bit too long, but man, there's a lot to go through. And very well done. Excellent. It says nothing on here how this was official or put out by, you know, Yoko, but it is quite comprehensive and very entertaining to look through. So we'll give Yoko the last word here. There it is, the John Lennon scrapbook. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking with us through that. Hey, if you want to catch more of this scrapbook stuff, check the last couple Bob Dylan scrapbook uh, unboxing videos on this channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like. And you know what? If you hit the bell, you'll be alerted when we're doing live stuff. And we do live stuff every week. There's a live vinyl show. There's a live podcast. Sometimes I just sit in the cam in front of the camera and go through my records and chat with you guys. It's a lot of fun. Let's get that going. Hit the subscribe because when we get to a thousand, or if we have already, maybe this is happening live. There is a huge music giveaway that's happening once we hit a thousand subscribers. So look for that. Hit the subscribe. Tell your friends. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, music lovers. See you next time.